Dugong is marine mammals protected in Thailand more than 30 years. We used to have the number of about more than 250 dugongs in our waters. Now, there is only 100 dugong left in Thailand. My name is Gong Kiet Kiti Banhawong. I am a marine research specialist from the Department of Marine and Coastal Resources. In the past two years, we have a problem of seagrass die-off. Dugong faces the problem of starvation, sickness, and lead them to migrate to other seagrass areas. On their way to find new foods, Dukong faces problem of fishing activities, boat traffic, pollution, and recreational activities. Previously, in order to protect Dukongs, we implement both patrolling and manual drone operation. Our main concern right now is we have too many Dukong areas to be protected. With the traditional boat patrolling activities, it's quite time consuming, high cost, and we have limited number of staff. Additionally, boat activities create negative impact to Dugong's living environment. In order to resolve the problems, we implemented the Dog Tree from DJI Enterprise. Based on the tide table, we planned three missions during the high tide and another three missions during the low tide per day using Flyhub 2 to search for dugongs. This system allows us to control the drone remotely. For each flight mission, a live stream is performed to check for the presence of dugongs and any potential threat. If necessary, the reinforcement will be sent to the site. Along with the data obtained by the dog tree, we also get additional image and video footage from our volunteers. The collected data is then converted into two and three dimension maps. The maps are then used to calculate dugong populations and distribution as well as the change of seagrass. With the dog tree, we can conduct patrol activities more often. The dog tree are also used to monitor marine and coastal resources such as seagrass, coral and mangrove. With drone catering, we get more precise data without disturbance of dugong's living environment. We also found that the dog tree system reduced the cost up to 20 times compared to both operations. As time goes by, we are very satisfied with the dog tree system. There is zero mortality of dugongs in the area, and also the threat is dramatically reduced. We expect to implement this system in other dugong protected areas in the future.